Hi, I'm Molly, and I study biology at St. Catherine's College. One of the best things about being a biologist is that every day is different. One day you might be studying bird models in the lab, and then the next day you've got a lecture on snakes or microorganisms. And this just goes to show how whatever you're fascinated in, you can get your questions answered by world leading experts, and they're always there to kindle your enthusiasm. I love about biology, it's the science of why things are the way they are. During lockdown, people, everyone's become a biologist. Everyone's started to hear birdsong for the first time or learn what R0 means. All of these things are the realm of biology, understanding diseases, understanding how we respond to diseases and understanding the, the amazing spring unfolding. Everybody's become a biologist. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's a science of every day. Everyone, it's, it's available for everybody and Un having that understanding of how the world works, how the, the natural world works, is thrilling and and, and something that um, I would never have missed out on and didn't want other people to miss out on it either. When I first started studying biology at Oxford, I had no idea what I wanted to study within biology, whether that was at the level of genes or even at the level of ecosystems. But as I progressed through my degree, I've been able to ask questions to the leaders in their field and I've been able to explore biology both within the syllabus and outside of the syllabus, which has really benefited me in narrowing down on exactly what I want to discover. So my top piece of advice to anyone who wants to apply for biology at Oxford is be curious and don't worry if you are not inspired by one aspect of biology in particular. I just want to bring up how incredibly diverse and welcoming the group of biologists are here at Oxford. In our first year class of about 100 people or so, um, there are international students from all over the world and it has truly been an honour to be their friends and be able to work alongside them. So one of the questions I get asked most in open days is what to expect in a tutorial. And that's for the simple reason that most people haven't had an experience of a, of a tutorial uh, type learning experience with like one or two people in a room with a teacher. Um, it's probably not exactly what you expect. So oftentimes uh, students will know more about the topic after they've done the research for the week, written their essay than I do. And it's very much more a sort of a discussion, learning through discussion. Uh, and a two-way um, interaction uh, in exchange of knowledge. Um, a good tutorial should feel like a, like just a really interesting conversation about, about a biological topic um, and, uh, and great fun actually. Uh, in biology we sometimes also go outside or we have presentations or um, uh, popular science article assignments so it's not the same every week um, but um, yeah, it's a, it's a great way to learn about something. What do I love about teaching biology in New College? The students. Getting to know the students really, really well. Watching people develop from school into people taking responsibility, big, making big decisions for what they want to do with the rest of their lives and what their future career paths shape there is to come. And finding out what they love. That's a privilege that will never grow tired. Hi there, I'm Sonia Clegg, Associate Professor of Evolutionary Ecology in the Department of Zoology and Tutorial Fellow at St Anne's College here at Oxford. When you come to Oxford as an undergraduate, uh, you join a college and you'll quickly find that uh, college life is the cornerstone of the Oxford experience. Each college has its own customs and traditions, um, some of which can seem quite eccentric at times, but definitely something you should embrace fully uh, to enjoy Oxford life. Invariably, wherever you end up as a biology student, your college will become your home away from home, a place where you'll form lifelong friendships and no doubt have a lot of fun along the way. There's lots of opportunities for extracurricular activities, whether that's joining clubs, sporting, cultural or academic or going to college functions, dining with friends. On the academic side, you will have a personal tutor at college, um, someone who you'll interact with an awful lot over the time of your undergraduate degree. Um, your personal tutor has multiple roles, uh, so not only that of an academic tutor, providing tutorials, making sure you have the academic cover that you need, but this person usually becomes a mentor and um, offers pastoral support as well. 
So the kind of one-on-one -on -one support and guidance that you receive through the collegiate system is a major advantage of doing your biology degree at Oxford. And we're excited to offer the new biology degree where students can choose to leave after three years with a BA or choose to leave after four years with an MBiol. And in this fourth year, um, you get the opportunity to do an extended research project uh, supervised by one of the many active researchers in the field. And this is a wonderful opportunity to embed in the group of a, of a leader um, in, in their field and really understand how biological research is done. So good luck with your applications and we hope to see you here. If you're looking for advice on personal statements, the main thing I'd say is show your passion. Whether it's talking about a book you've read or a magazine or a TV show, or even just how you might have thought about something one day when you're walking down the street. Whatever shows that you're fascinated by life and nature, the tutors will love it. Hi there, my name is Eden and I'm about to start my third year in biology. So here are some suggestions for your personal statement. First of all, focus your statement around topics in biology that you find interesting. That could be marine biology, microbiology, insects, almost anything. And to show your interest in these topics, discuss about anything that you've learned from a book or a lecture or visiting a museum or a course, anything that shows your interest and that you can talk about. And this will prove to the tutors that you love biology. Good luck with your application. What do you look for an applicant? Curiosity. I know you can pass exams, everybody that comes for interviews passes exams, you're good at passing exam, and so I'm really, you've got to convince me that you really love biology, that you want to learn about biology more than anything else in the world. I've got to teach you for four years, so I want to teach people who want to learn, and that's what I'm looking for. So I want to share a little bit about what it's like to study as an international biology student here at Oxford. Um, so first of all, content-wise, I felt very supported because the first year curriculum is designed in such a way that all bases are covered, regardless of which educational background you came from. So having come from a different curriculum previously in high school than most of my classmates, um, I was a bit worried about integrating myself into this new content or if there were being missing pieces or different ways that I've learned things. Um, instead, I found that the course really, really helped uh, with kind of laying down the basis for everything uh, while also taking it to the next level. So I didn't feel like there was a staggering um, integration process needed at all. I was immediately immersed into the content without any troubles.